Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Project Soul Skirmish on Roblox. It's a Roblox Undertale game, actually. And uh, th this game is really cool, and I just feel like making this video because one, it's fun, and uh, I feel like more people should know and play this game. Link it will be in the description down below. And be before getting into the video, uh, you're gonna you might be confused if you haven't played the game, so let me explain. Project Soul Skirmish is a, a arcade style game uh, where you can either be a genocide player or a, or a pacifist player. Now, to actually win this game, uh, you have to, if you're playing as a genocide player, you have to reach level 20 by killing lots of people in the game. And once you reach level 20, you you get weird by Kara you, and you get to erase the world. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can also go pacifist, which is a much harder route than uh, genocide because it, you... You're constantly at 20 HP and you only get armor to really defend yourself with. And the, sa and the same goes for pacifists as to the winning methods. You get to you get to level 20 as a pacifist. Don't ask me how that works. I don't know either. But uh, you do that and you also win. However, pacifist players have something special. Uh, uh, every time there's a uh, every every pacifist player who's six who's level 16 or up. And has 8,000 skill points and 30 player spares can turn into Asriel, which has a few special skills. Mainly be, being that they, he has the Chaos Sabers, which are incredibly overpowered because they have a, they have a dash. And um, as, as Asriel, you can save instead of sparing. Uh, you can still spare them, but it, it's mostly common that you'll spare them instead of saving them. However, if you. Uh, nail the the saving bar right in the middle. It's a really tight window, so if you so, but you'll know when you hit it because the saving text will be rainbow. And once you do that to so to a player who's either genocide or who's a genocide player, they will be saved and be and all their levels will be will be forfeit and he they will turn into a pacifist instantly. There's they don't get a say in it. They don't they don't get to decide if they they want to be or not. They they just get turned into a pacifist whether they like it or not and. They have to, and if they want to keep going doing genocide, they have to restart all the way from level one. So it's a really overpowered set of skills, and that's how you win as either pacifist or genocide. Just wanted to explain that because I, some people might be confused about the game. So yeah, now, now that you know what how the game works, uh, enjoy the video. Oh my god, it's just the whole fucking gang is here, dude. Get him up, let him get up, let him get up, let him get up. Let him get up. What? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. Oh, what the f the entire f fun game you decided to pull out, bro. What the f Yeah! Oh my god, dude. There's so many f People. There's so many pacifists. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I'll take. I'll take your cash. No, my money. Get away, Germany. Your money. You had to die, dude. Die. What's well, on a way, little pacifist man? Little pacifist man? Oh my god, it's a fucking pacifist fun squad over here. Uh, 
Uh, okay, no, I want to kill him too. Die. Die, yes, we got him. Oh god, the fucking feather bit. Jesus Christ, bro. God damn, bro. Impedivus Funk Squad strikes again. Yeah, you thought. You thought you have. We're cooking with that shit, bro. Did you see my goal? You're dying. Over here. I only have 15 kills. Damn it, bro. 